Good morning, friends. Good morning. Welcome back to the Spiritual Breakfast Network. And you know we're powered by the Word of the Most High God. This morning, it's a Saturday morning. We're not accustomed to doing our spiritual breakfast on a Saturday. But today I'm feeling led to speak to you on the topic, Get Back Up Again. There's so many of us out there who are we're, we're feeling down. We're feeling out. We're feeling defeated. We're feeling deflated. And I think it's so important that we encourage ourselves in the Lord. After all, this page is all about growing together. So we're going to get into the Word this morning. I'm going to be sharing an illustration with you just to encourage you on the topic. Get back up again. Let's go. So my friends, let's talk about get back up again. Proverbs 24 verse 16 declares, But the righteous fall seven times and get back up again. But the wicked stumble in their calamity. Now this morning, it's important to know that when you're a child of God, you will definitely fall. You're prone to falling. Righteous people fall. They mess up. They, they make mistakes and they learn from them. And they pick themselves up again. Now I want to share with you this morning my journey into riding cycle so if you guys have been following me you know that I love to cycle but I can recall my first time um, learning to cycle was about age 9 10 when my father bought me my first bike now around this time um, my brothers were, were, were avid cyclists they were good at it but for me I was young I didn't know how to do this thing and so what I would do is I would go on my bike when everyone is sleeping at night I would get up go on my bike and what I notice is that I would fall and oftentimes I would end up with bruises sometimes the bike was too tall for me I can recall clearly where I couldn't sit on the seat and so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this this camera so you can see what I'm saying I couldn't sit on the seat of the bike because I was too small so I would come in this little section right here and I would try to pedal the bike because it was like my father got me a bike that was my size he got me a bike that was much bigger than me because he got it affordable cheap and so what he did was to give me what he could afford but I wanted to cycle so I didn't let that distract me because it wasn't my size I would get on this get into that small part and I would try to pedal and of course, I would fall off the bike, but I would get back up again. And I would do it a hundred times. Early in the morning, I would do it again. After a while, I recognized that I was getting a bit better, but I was still falling. Ah, I would get back up again, ride for a bit, but I would still fall. If you check my body right now, there's so much cuts all over me as a young boy growing up. Because I was that little man who was determined to get this thing and determined to do things. Now, why am I using this analogy today? In your journey in life, your Christian journey, you're going to be trying to get to a higher height. And sometimes where you want to get to or where you want to start, it might be too high for you to start. But you got to get lower to get higher. And even when you get lower, the place where you're starting is still going to be difficult. Say, for example, you want to be a minister. But for now, all you can do is exalt. Or all you can do is post about Jesus. Start where you're at until you get to where you need to be. And there's so many people who are falling down and they're like, oh, this Christian journey is so challenging. Because you're trying to get to somewhere that you haven't reached yet. But you got to start somewhere to get there. Many of you on your journey in life, you are, you are constantly falling. You got to look at what technique am I using? How, what, what approach am I using to this, to this Christian journey? Am I just allowing myself to get pulled into the same habits, the same lifestyle? you got to change your strategy to be successful. Christianity is about looking at your life and seeing where you need to make improvement and work on yourself. So the Bible said you fall seven times and you get back up again. It means that if you're trying to fast and you fail, don't stop. Try again. And maybe try not to do give yourself five hours when you can only do one. It means that if you're trying to, 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 to read the word of God and you're failing at it, don't stop. Try again. 
It means that if you're struggling with a certain desire and you find yourself constantly getting pulled into it, you got to try to overcome it again. You fall down, you don't stay down, you get back up again. Say you found yourself in the act of adultery and you know that it's not of God. Don't live in it until it become addicted to it to the point where you can't change and, and you're constantly saying, why can't I? You got to try to desist. You got to try to abstain. Say, for example, you're, you're constantly struggling with pornography and you recognize that you're constantly being defeated by this. You got to try and try and say, God, I give this to you. I can't do this on my own. I've tried by myself. God, help me to get through this. And so it's important that on your journey, you're constantly recognizing and looking at where you're falling and trying to get back up again. Don't stay down. Don't stay in that sinful situation uh, wondering when it's going to change, when you got the strategy inside of you. The Bible said God will give you over to your reprobate mind, meaning he will give you over to your own desire, your own will. So my friends, I want to leave you today with 1 Corinthians 4, 9. It said persecuted but not forsaken, struck down, but not despised. I want to let you know today that it doesn't matter where you're at in your journey, it doesn't matter who is fighting against you, it doesn't matter how, how big the war is in your mind or in the real world that you're in, you can, you can rise from it. The Bible says you're not forsaken and you got to overcome the inner battles that you're facing. And you got to overcome all the things that have become hindrance to your progress hindrance to your success because if you don't set up yourself mentally and spiritually to fight you'll always be stuck in the same place this journey is all about warfare you'll never stop fighting there's always going to be something else that you got to navigate through but if you never leave grade one you never get to grade two what do i mean by this if you never overcome the challenges that you've had for 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 one year how can you get to the next level that god wants to take you to overcome the next travel challenge so today, don't be afraid of a challenge. Be willing to fight. Be willing to get back up again. Because that's what you're called to do. Get back up. The writer said, we fall down, but we get up. God bless you today. Thank you for listening. And as I've always said here, this is where we grow together. Let's keep growing together. Invite your friend, your family. Let them join the family. Catch you soon. Be blessed.